but singing couldn't stave off the inevitable. On the 10th of April, 1963, Pierre was rushed to hospital where an edema of the lung was diagnosed. She fell into a coma for two weeks. When she was well enough, Serapol took her to the south of France to recover. She never sang in public again. Well, that was sad. There she had this um, young man who was utterly devoted, took her down to this village in the south of France, thought she ought to have a nice, quiet, restful time, looked after her very carefully. Old friends and lovers came to visit the ailing singer. On the 9th of October, 1963, she slipped into another coma and died the next afternoon. But France wasn't to learn of its loss for another day. First, Piaf had to return to Paris. She was uh, a kid of Paris. So once she was, she was dead, they carried the corpse in an ambulance and drove back to Paris and the, the, the death certificate was made in Paris the, the, the day after. She didn't die the day it's, it's written on the, on the death certificate, but the day uh, before, you know, and not in Paris, but in the South. You couldn't have this great French star dying in a little Provence village. Sarah Poe transported her secretly at night in a car so that it could be given out in Paris the next day. Madame Piaf est morte à Paris. You had to die in Paris. She was so closely associated with her. So I think it, that's the, that was the final point of the legend.